Now that you have seen uh, six different patterns, uh, how to use AI to help you uh, identify some kinds of situation, let's look again to our workflow chart here. A workflow that can be divided in tasks and uh, Nowadays, traditional uh, tasks are accomplished by humans and com traditional computer programs, okay? And we are see that we can maybe find some uh, important task or some parts of your workflow that we can replace parts of human jobs or parts of traditional programming or even do better than the current workflow uh, uh, is doing in our process with mixing AI modules in the main, AI to accomplish the human-machine interaction, AI to generate, for example, a report at the end, AI to recognize uh, documents, images in the middle of your workflow, AI to, to predict maybe uh, if your stock is going low, to predict new trends in the market, AI to help you figure out uh, to discover new patterns of use uh, of your products and create new segments and prepare a new, a new ad campaign. All of different use of AI. Okay, and for that reason it's important. AI is not here to replace a job or AI is not here to replace a full process or an, a completely new product. You have to think AI as little parts that will augment the capacity of people that have to make decisions, to take actions or even improve uh, traditional computers with better use of text, images, sounds, uh, video, all, all of different kinds of data that we have in this digital area. And my idea is, I cannot say you what is your situation, but my advice is, think of looking to a workflow, a process that you have, a new process that you want to create, a new product that you want to create. Use this lens of kinds of patterns of AI and see if you can apply in this lens with patterns like automation, generation, human-machine interaction, recognition, discovery, prediction and see if you can find uh, a situation that is applied for your case. Something that you think that if you apply AI to that situation at the end you will get the value.